I don't think Rockstar Ace really goes out to a lot of SoCal events, actually. He mainly yeah, stays in the IE. Pretty much. And I feel like this Wii Fit pick is going to throw off K9, because I... Oh, where's the game? Uh, I think they're warming up. Okay, there we go. There oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Rux, Ruxar Ace versus uh, K9's Palu. Ruxar Ace is a very kind of weird offensive hybrid type of character. He likes to set up a lot before kind of going in. Right. I mean, Wii Fit kind of fits that hit and run play style. You know, they kind of run away, get the projectile pressure, heal get uh, deep breathing, and then they go in, and once they get in, they got those ladder combos with like Nair, up tilt, et cetera. Yeah, exactly. But then uh, K9, with his Palutena, is able to just kind of cross up Wii Fit Trainer, not let her do anything. But um, a really weird thing about Wii Fit Trainer, her back air is uh, her best out of shield option, so it's actually detrimental if you cross her up. Cross her up. Yeah. And it's going to be really weird, because I don't think uh, there's another Wii Fit Trainer as uh, as high of a caliber as Rockstar Ace, like that goes to a lot of events, you know. So this is going to be very very interesting. We Fit Trainer having a lot of weird hitboxes, like you know having a hitbox behind her F Smash and all her arrows. Right. I'm a little surprised to see Kanan's follow. That's something I don't see too often. He's mostly known for, of course, his Wolf, his Sheik, his Lucina. He's got a Wario too. I've never seen him follow actually. Yeah, Kanan has a very wide range of characters and. I believe he's choosing this as a counter pick, just kind of like as a possibly comfort pick because everybody knows how to mess up the pass fallers and fantastic nair to kind of catch Rockstar Ace just trying to set up. But that's the type of characters that um, I'd say Rockstar Ace and Wii Fit Trainer and those types of like weird mid-tier characters have is just people that are able to come in with very, very fast aerials at all times. And I played the respawn invincibility very well. He actually just whiffed on his like, his dash attack and just took him on a string across the stage. So, I mean, he's built himself quite the lead right now. Rockstar Ace is going to need an tilt. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic. Just very patiently waiting for the get up option. How long is that F-Tilt active for? Because I know it's pretty good at catching a lot of tech chase. Uh, get up options, stuff like that. I'm not really too sure, but Rockstar Ace is one to just really utilize dash back F tilt a lot and just catch a lot of people with those weird forward facing hitboxes and backward facing hitboxes. Right. Because a lot of our moves hit on both sides. Yeah, like that was a super different get up too. the option he did there. He like canceled the side B without the ball and then kinda like wave landed back on the stage. Yeah, he really oh, he likes to, he and a lot of Wii Fit Trainers, I noticed, <laughs> since Wii Fit Trainer has a lot of uh, offstage presence and a lot of uh, kind of like able to hold offstage really well, they're able to kind of just sit there and kind of catch them off guard by holding that ledge and fantastic uh, Nair into upper conversion from Rockstar Ace taking a lead in this uh, game one. He's kind of behind like the whole rest right. of the game. But he got a really good, uh, I think it was falling Nair to upper conversion. But K9 right now, just trying to hold center stage, but that's the thing. It's kind of hard to time when Wii Fit Trainer and Rockstar Ace gets back with fantastic explosive flame that just happened. I, I think the way that K9 is going to have to win this is just respecting deep breathing. Because, you know, that's like that's like her limit, her arsen, you know. Like everything gets increased knockback. I think damage, too. Yeah, her oh, damage, her knockback, her everything. But Yikes. Okay. Yeah, that's... This Not is the thing good. that K9's been talking to me lately now, let's about. Try it together. Um, I've talked, I, I've like played friendlies with him, talked to him. He mainly says that his whole kind of, I suppose, mentality issue about PR is that it prevents him from working on new characters. And so a lot of his bad losses and why he's kind of inconsistent is he'll try a character and then he'll he'll go down 0-1 like this or like lose game two. And then once he pulls out his main, it's either not ready or, you know, he'll lose the second game. So I, I, that's something, it's kind of up to you, you know. You got to work your mentality around if you're willing to take that risk to try out new characters in bracket. I know it's kind of hard, but it, it's honestly, it depends on what's more important to you, you know. Yeah, it, it really depends on do you want to try to learn this new character to, you know, better yourself in the future, but take a instant kind of loss right now? Or do you want to, you know, just only stick with your character and... Ooh, Ooh, fantastic wow. down air to up smash. Don't underestimate the size of that up smash. That thing will catch you. Wow. It's basically Peach's up smash, like copy and paste it verbatim. And he has so many setups actually into that move, like 
down air and especially his up tilts. Did you see that bait he just Ooh, hit? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yes. 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 Let's go IE. Yes. That was sick. That was sick. And wow, I mean, if I'm if I'm Rockstar, I'm just gonna run away and just let let, let Canine come to me and just whip punish him for it. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Canine being a very good whiff punisher and is able to play a very defensive type of playstyle throughout the whole game. Right. But now he's gonna have to yeah. play a little bit uh, out of his comfort zone. Yeah, so. but fantastic F smash coming out from Canine. But you know, it's Wii Fit Trainer. He's able to make it all the way back from there. Oh yeah, yeah he's uh, panicking now. You know, he's burning his double jump and his air dodge. Fantastic back air and the taunts coming out. Uh, Rockstar is able to actually play against a lot, all these um, all these spaces and all these taunts because he actually plays against a lot of BM type of players like uh, <laughs> Meteor, if you know who he is. Meteor Spanky. Oh, Hello? he caught him. Oh, let's go, IE. I feel like you're just We're trying to meme the hell out of this set, dude. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he did it. He did it all right that in, a, in a very loud 2-0. So... Dude, Rockstar is being very, very happy. Oh, wait, and... Uh, I got to hit up there. T3 Dome. I think you're playing against Lamp, another Inlinet. Oh, no, I, I just played him. I'm going to play him. Oh, okay, because I... All right. Good luck. I need you to play Wait, I have to play Lamp? That's my carpool. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's my... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought this was racist. Yeah, I know. 